Hello everyone and welcome to Mineral Technologies. Today we're in the Metallurgical Testing Facility and I'm with Mark Palmer, the Principal Development Engineer for the new LC3 Spiral. Hello Mark. Hi Julie. Thanks for joining us. Can you tell us a little about the uh, development process for the new LC3? Okay, well the LC3 is our latest spiral development. It's our newest baby. It's come out of research and development. Mm -hmm. We were getting a message from our customers, loud and clear, in the coal industry that what they wanted out of a spiral was a lower cut point. They were already happy with the simplicity of spirals and, and how forgiving they are mm -hmm. in a, as a processing solution, but the one thing that really we needed to do was to try and give them a lower cut point. And I'm really pleased to say that that's what we've been able to do with the LC3. So traditional spirals cut around about 1.65 to 1.7 or mm -hmm. thereabouts. We thought that maybe it was going to be very difficult because these, this has been attempted in the past uh, with limited success on a number of occasions. But we had one more go at it and now we pleased to say after a lot of testing and development that we've got a unit that can cut down to 1.45, 1.5. Not only does it get the lower cut point, but it's proved to be able to do it at, thr at throughputs and loadings which are very similar and comparable to conventional spirals right. and at similar separation efficiencies. Mm. So we're really excited about it for that reason. And not only that, it's turned out to be an all-rounder. We did develop it as a specialty spiral mm -hmm. for that really precise cut and really precise performance. As it turns out, even testing it at comparable cut points, it seems to be even better, or at least as good, as the traditional spirals at those mm. high cut points at around about 1.65, 1.7. Excellent. And uh, in terms of the form factor or the size of the spiral, how does that compare to existing spirals? Well, that was one of the design briefs, or part of the design brief was that it had to fit into the same height constraint as existing mm -hmm. models that are accepted in the industry. Mm. So models like the LD7RC yes. and a couple of other models that are in the industry, it had to fit within that height and within that footprint. Mm. And that's what we've done. So physically it, it can be retrofitted into those spaces mm -hmm. or it can go into new, new plants or, or green fields. And in terms of an existing customer that's currently using spirals, um, the value of this spiral is it delivers a higher quality product? It can deliver a higher quality product mm. because the, the lower the SG cut point, mm -hmm. the more premium or, or lower ash grade the product has. Right. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate your time. Welcome, Julie. Thank you. Uh, if anyone would like to know any more information about the LC3, uh, what would be the next step for them? Well, contact us by phone, email, or through our website mm -hmm. and myself or any of my colleagues would be more than happy to talk to people about our new baby. Excellent. Thanks, Mark. No worries. Thank you.